So let's start in the $10,000 or higher department, Maddie. I don't, I don't actually think anyone up here is underpriced necessarily, but there are a couple of guys I like. And uh, the one that jumps out to me in particular is Nikola Jokic. I think that most people are going to be aware of Jokic being suspended for one game because of what happened with the Heat. Um, that's not really factoring into my decision here. It's more that I think that a lot of the popular value plays will be centers. Um, we have Tony Bradley probably starting for Nikola Vucevic. We have Isaiah Stewart being really cheap. Um, Jared Allen has been a really popular center play recently. So I think that people just aren't really going to get to Jokic. He's very expensive tonight. Um, maybe he is a little extra fired up because of what happened a couple games ago. But either way, I think that he's a good guy to pay up for. Okay, who do you got to pay up for in this chunky price range, Kenny? Hey, you want to talk about a guy that's going to be fired up. How about the guy that sat almost the entire fourth quarter as the second unit came back? And look, I don't know if he's necessarily going to be motiv highly motivated here or extra motivated, but Julius Randle is going to have a lot of energy. Julius Randle's not a guy that gets to sit on the bench a lot. Uh, if you remember last year, one of the league leaders in minutes played, Tom Thibodeau loves to run him into the ground just 27 minutes last game because he sat on the bench while the second unit played and came back So uh, against the Milwaukee. So look, I think that Julius Randle here, he's fresh. That's something that you don't normally get to say about him. And he has a great matchup here against the Charlotte Hornets who are third in pace and third to last in defensive efficiency. They're very, very weak inside. They don't rebound the basketball well. Miles Bridges and Mason Plumlee uh, just not known as big imposing bodies. I think that the Knicks sort of bully the Hornets in the front court in this game, get back to playing that defense that we saw them play last year. And I think Julius Randle has a pretty big game. It's hard to knock uh, taking Randle considering he has a usage rate of 31% or more in three of his last four games. You know he's going to get the ball when he's on the floor. He should be on the floor quite a bit here. He should be well-rested for, for a change. So uh, fire him up at 10.2K.